So, Steve, as I said, this is the place to be if you're going to talk Cactus League baseball. This is the epicenter, obviously. This is where the power brokers eat. You look around, it's unbelievable. What an atmosphere in here. It's fantastic. This is this is uh, just a piece of, of history. Now, where is your, do you have a microphone or mic flag, a, a Fox uh, Sports a, a Arizona shirt up there? There's a photo of me on a ceiling around here somewhere, <laughs> looking down. <laughs> I, I do want to do this, though. I, I want to get a little taste of, of you and how this came to be for you. You said at your press conference, and to me this is fascinating, that you said to Derek Hall in your job interview, I think you said, quote, I know this is a stretch. Yeah, I did. We, he, Derek was showing me all over the ballpark, and I, I wanted to let him know how much I appreciated the consideration because I, I have always been a, a studio guy, and you get labeled pretty quickly in this business. So I, I said to him, this is, a, this is a dream job for any baseball play-by-play -play man. You have guys that have been doing this for 25 years that would love to get this job. The fact that you would even have me out here and consider me for this thing. I, I wanted to let him know that I appreciated uh, his faith in me, and uh, that's something that I don't take lightly at all. This goes against every rule of thumb of every job interview of how to answer a question, but you actually did a 180 on it, didn't you? You cut back and said, hey, I, look, did, I, I did preface it. I said, well, I want this to come out the right way, but I was being genuine and sincere, and, and I, like, I, I appreciate, I, don't wa I want you to know that it's not lost on me what you're doing here. And that, and that when you have, when someone shows that kind of faith in you and an organization believes in you and says, we want you and we, we know you can do this, and that, that goes a long way. It goes a really long way. I have met and worked alongside a lot of guys that have come from the campus, I'll just leave it at that, that have come into a local situation or a regional network and didn't get it. It's different. So what's your take on coming, coming from a oh. network and, and working on a regional level for a team. There are 210 TV markets in the United States and I started in market 197 in Charlottesville, Virginia. I started at the very bottom and I, for years, I lugged the three quarter inch video camera around with the deck on the side shooting high school football games and doing the one man band stand up routine. And so I've done all of that. So uh, that's never lost on me because it wasn't too long ago where I was the guy lugging the tripod around everywhere on the sideline. So uh, that's never been an issue for me. Um, just the fact that I now work for and with a Major League Baseball team and with an organization that's been so good to me already, that means a lot. Have you thought about what you'll be thinking about on your way to Chase Field for opening day after all spring yeah. training rolls through? What, what might be going through your mind that, that day? Don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> That, I swear that's what I'll be thinking. Uh -huh. Okay, just won the lottery here. I got the best job I could possibly think of. Now let's let's reward everyone's faith in you and, and don't screw it up. And I'm going to do that for the D-backs and most importantly for the fans because I'm going to be watching right there with them.